maybe for some of you, you should put that money towards bad debt. Yep. For some of you, you should like max out an and asset and use that to in reinvest in your business or your real estate. For some of you, you might be nearing retirement and maybe a, an annuity strategy would give you more income. For some of you, it should be the market. For some, it's like, it's we build a strategy based around where you are, what you want, but then what also what we're dealing with. This is Better Wealth with Caleb Williams. Welcome to Better Wealth Unlocked, where we give you the keys to help you live a more intentional life. I'm here, my good brother and friend, Jeremy Rudhouse, who is my Better Wealth coach and uh, leads our team of helping people get super, super clear in where they want to go and through a model and through the right data and help people create right strategies to get them to where they want to go. And so in today's episode, we're talking about the importance of a strategy, the concept but then also what we do as we help people create strategy around money. And regardless whether you're working with us, whether you're working with somebody else, you have to know where you're at, but then you have to be thoughtful about the kind of strategies that you can live by that hopefully can help you show up more powerfully today and help you in the future. So Better Wealth Coach, you're on the front lines. Talk to us about how you explain strategy and where you go. Absolutely. So one thing I'll, I wanna start off with is uh, efficiency and optimization. When we look at somebody's model, one of the things that we look to do is is put efficiencies in that aren't there that could maybe help the overall model. And again, this is all based off of knowing where you are and where you want to go. So there's efficiency. And then there's this idea of I can make the, you know, like we can talk about the most efficient thing on the planet that you'll absolutely never do because yeah. it didn't take into consideration the life that you want to live or how you live your life. For example, it's very efficient not to get married or have any kids <laughs> or live in a house. Right. Yeah. Tents yeah. are far more cost efficient. I mean, I'm telling you, man. Right. Like, but but we do those things, right? And yeah. so as a result of that, we we use this word optimization. So for the Smith family, we know what efficient may look like, but with regards to optimization, does it work for the Smith family? Hmm. So those are kind of core concepts when we move towards building strategies and collaborating really because this is the client's model yeah this is your household economy represented on a graph that we're going to hold hold ourselves accountable to yeah to get you where you want to go so when we build strategy we we take this idea of a bucket hmm. so with the model savings all of it in its totality is just one bucket when we start out and then as we, we get clear and we understand what we need to do, where the, where you want to go, again, with the idea of having a, living an intentional life now and in the future based off of you and, how, and, and what that looks like, we look at buckets and we create buckets to do the things that the model needs to do mathematically in order to get you where you want to go. Yep. So this is really where the start with the end in mind comes in. And when we start with the end in mind and we work our way back from there, the buckets that we use, when we use them, how we use them, and what they need to do at certain times is all math. It's just, it's just a literal bucket on a screen that we put numbers into in order to achieve the objectives that you're looking to achieve. And this is extremely valuable for the client because there's no product involved. I have not said, I will never say, well, we're going to use an and asset to do this. It's not about the end asset. It's about what do we need this bucket to do? If the bucket is the end asset, then great. But it's because of what it does. I remember the product that it is. I remember I like, I didn't walk into a meeting, but I heard you like over talking to someone and you're like, they're like, no, Jeremy, we want, we want an end asset. What Caleb talked about. And you're like, no, but that's not right for you. And I'm like, <laughs> well, I'm like, Dude, come on. <laughs> I'm you kill, you're but, killing me. But, but really that person did not like, it was not going to best serve them. Yeah. I mean, what a great position to be in where we ha where we have people who who have said, I want to be a part of Better Wealth Unlimited. They've they've paid money. And right. now I'm saying, no, no. Yeah. They're like, we're, I want to put all this money in. You're like, no, you don't. Hold on. <laughs> but okay, but yeah. why do I say that, Caleb? Because we have clarity on where they want to go and we're really clear on where they're at and what they want to do would not be the what's best for them to do. And we're accountable to something that we can measure. Yep. Yep. Okay, and, and rather than developing a contract or selling an annuity or doing something based off, again, a hope, a product, a prayer, 
we're, we're doing it based off of a bucket doing what it is that you want it to or need it to in order to keep the model in balance, get to where you want to go, achieve the, the dreams, objectives, what have you. Yeah. So this idea of using buckets and just using math within the buckets, and then we'll go and figure out how to make that bucket a reality. Right. And I just, for the person watching this on YouTube or listening to this, I want to like give you a concept of what we mean by strategy. So we first of all get super clear on our better wealth model where you're at. And let's say, let's say for example, you're saving $20,000. And maybe okay. you have you have a, you have some money that you can transfer over as well. Okay. Then we ask the question: With that money, how is that going to best serve you now and in the future? Because remember, we're clear on what's important to you. Hopefully, you guys have clarity around ROR, return on results, the results that you actually want. And then we ask: Okay, maybe for some of you, you should put that money towards bad debt. Yep. For some of you, you should like max out an and asset and use that to in reinvest in your business or your real estate. For some of you, you might be nearing retirement and maybe a, an annuity strategy would give you more income. For some of you, it should be the market. For some, it's like, it's we build a strategy based around where you are, what you want, but then what also what we're dealing with. And it's what's really cool is it's like, yeah, we can have theories, but when you have a model that you can actually say, if we do this, this is how it's actually gonna look. It's like, that's that's a game, game changer. Yeah. And by the way, there's still assumptions that are being made. You could invest totally. in yourself and, What's the value of investing in yourself? What's the value of investing in your business? What's the value of investing in real estate? It could be negative. So there, it's not like a bulletproof way. I'm not saying this no. is like this is the guaranteed way. It's just a whole lot better than what you're doing. And that sounded bad, like that sounded in your face, but like <laughs> <laughs> I'm not this sassy, I promise. But like if you look at what most people are doing, it's like it's it's a joke. It's a joke. And I think that's evidenced by the comments that I'm hearing day after day. It just two hours ago, nobody has ever showed me this. Th I thought maybe this was the case, but nobody has ever showed me this. Amazing. Yeah. So uh, th what's cool is this is not only validating and I get excited about it, but it's also super validating. And, and most importantly, it's validating and it gets the client excited and it produces hope. Yeah. Um, so strategy is kind of a progressive thing. Realize that when, when we sit down and we talk, this is kind of like eating an elephant. We've got to do it one bite at a time. And we have to know certain things too. There may be strategies or things that we want to use to meet the requirements of a certain bucket that we can't, whether it's because of health or because it just isn't going to work for you. Or it might not be tax efficient. Correct. So, yep. so then we've got to go back and we've, we've got to figure out what can we use in order to make the model function like we need it to function so that we can achieve those goals and dreams. And, and I would encourage you, if this is the first episode that you've been watching or if you're on YouTube, go back, look at the other episodes that we did on c getting the right data, consumption versus savings, the model, the importance of clarity, because all those need to be in place yeah. to do strategies. And one of the downfalls to our industry, one of the downfalls to people that have great intentions, yeah. by the way, me early on, was I, it wasn't necessarily the strategy. It wasn't the flaws in the strategy. It wasn't that it wasn't, the strategy wasn't best for the person I was working with. And, and again, like everyone, everyone is at fault for this. Meaning like there's, you're not going to meet a single person in this business that doesn't go look back and say, if I would have known what I know now, I would have done something different. But it was like, it's really, really awesome going forward to like have those things up front and whether you're doing this on your own or whether you're working with someone like us or whether you're working with someone else, make sure that they have a system for this and they have an ongoing system because we've seen over and over again, people not having a system for changing or pivoting their strategy because again, it's just their emotion. Yeah, all, all too often, I will talk with folks who are at a point in their life where they're they're moving towards uh, freedom of time, right? They're moving out of the workforce and they're starting to use some of what it is that they've saved or they're doing things a little bit differently. And they're like super afraid yeah. Is this going to work? Yep. And they're sort of okay with it. And guys, what just happened? You know, back in December of last year, we're flying high. Everything's good. And then things happen. Yep. And the, and the 2.5 million turns into one point something or other. <laughs> yeah. It, it's concerning. And what yep. do you have to go back and say, well, this was our strategy. What fail safes did we have? Yep. What protections against these risks did we build into this? And so... That's probably the other thing that we should highlight is when we're building strategy, 
it is like a stress test for the model with regards yep. to balance. Yep. So we we want to add an extra, you know, roof caving in expense. We want to yep. add an extra, you know, car breaking down expense. We want to add an extra my adult kid needs, you know, $1,000 a month for a year or something like that into the model to make sure that no matter what happens in life, because what happens in life? It, life. Yeah, life. Life happens. <laughs> um, our model can stand the test of time, and that that's part of that strategy. It's, it's like when an entrepreneur tells me, oh, I'm doing a marketing campaign that's going to cost $30,000, and we're going to launch in three months. I'm like, okay, it's going to launch <laughs> next year, 16 months from now, and it's going to cost $40,000 to $100,000. It's just like yeah. things happen. And, and um, someday we'll have a launch that goes as planned. I can't wait. I'll let you guys all know. Uh, also, when it does come to strategy, I know we've been talking like you can't just take this in a vacuum. The reason why the and asset is so important and the reason I wrote this book and the reason why um, we've sold over 6,000, when I say sold, sold or given away over 6,000 copies. It's like it's this message has never been more relevant. And the reason and there's a, so many reasons we'll have a lot of yeah. episodes breaking it down. But like when you can give a dollar multiple jobs, when you can put one dollar where it can protect you, grow for you, you can use it and it can show up powerfully in retirement. Like it, it's it, there's a reason there's a reason there's a mathematical reason that when life insurance is set up and utilized properly, it becomes one of the greatest and assets, your greatest asset class to own. But again, don't just jump the gun. Yep. It's I'm don't make a decision in the vacuum. But like I just this this fires me up because it's like what we're doing. It, we're just getting better and better totally. because we're sharing with more people. And so go to betterwealth.com if you have not taken our financial assessment. Go take it, um, and and it will show you give you a snapshot. It's it's as accurate as we can with it like dumbing down the questions to a few mainly because like we should ask you a hundred, but no one will go through that. So it's like get, get a snapshot of where you're at, and then. And then like talk to someone, uh, whether it's the guy that you're working with or wor wor work with someone like us, and we will help you get clarity around that and build strategies to to really crush it. Totally. And we don't know everything by, by any stretch yeah. of the imagination. And Especially you, right? I definitely... I, <laughs> and, <no>. and, <laughs> except <laughs> we have a guy named Dave on our team that checks almost <laughs> all the boxes, and I, I bet we could find something that he yep. doesn't know about, but we haven't found that yet. No, he, he knows most everything. Just ask him. So uh, the, I say that because we we are constantly in a state of learning, and in addition to that, we have an amazing network, and Dave is an example of that, of I'm going to tell you guys, I'll be honest, I may not have the answer to this, and I go back to my military career. When you're standing before the commander and, and he or she is like, what is the answer to this? When you don't know, you best say, I don't know, but I'm going to find that answer for you, and I'll get back to you. So please know that that's the that's the heart and the intent as well. Anybody that tells you they know everything or they always have an answer for something, you should probably check them at the door. Yep. Um, so I, I just I think that that's important with building strategy as well is we want to test it and vet it in as many ways as we can um, and do the the very best thing that we can for, for you guys. Hey, guys, thank you so much for listening to our show. If you're on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. And every time you click the thumbs up or – subscribe or, or you could even hit the bell on YouTube so that you can get notified when we upload uh, episodes like getting our message out in the world is so so important and so the more people that you can share and and just reach out to us we love hearing from you like that truly means the world and you guys are truly our oxygen to help uh, share this message and so Jeremy thank you for another absolutely amazing episode and uh, take these keys that we're giving you and and go out and live a more intentional life Thank you so much for listening to the Better Wealth Podcast. It would mean the world to me if you could hit subscribe, leave a review, and share this with the people that you know and love.